Hello everyone, you're warm welcome to the course of cyber security DOS and DDoS attacks. So today here we're going to see that how FortiGate IPv4 DOS policy works. So here on my screen you can able to see that I have created a topology which is very basic where I have take my LAN network and my WAN network and as you can see that my Windows machine can able to access the internet and under FortiGate firewall I've created a policy I've configured the interfaces okay as LAN and WAN and the DNS then static routes which is reaching towards my default gateway and I am getting the internet okay and uh, I can able to successfully access the internet okay from my LAN network towards the internet now today we're going to discuss about how IPv4 DOS policy works in FortiGate firewall so when you go to policy and object you can see here IPv4 DOS policy and we discussed already all the theoretical part in terms of all the attacks SYN attack, ICMP attack, ping to death attack, chem table attack so these all are the attacks that happened by the attacker and today what we're going to do is that here you can see that this is my topology and I'll add one of the Kali Linux machine and I, I, I'll i configure nmap and then we perform the lab that we do the attack from our nmap machine towards our LAN okay or our firewall and we can able to see that how firewall captures the packet and how it shows us in the IPv4 DOS policy so here first we go to IPv4 DOS policy we press create new and uh, here you can see the name so we gave the name as IPv4 DOS policy the incoming traffic is from port 1 because we receive the traffic from outside so port 1 is from the outside interface to inside the source is all we are selecting the destination should be all and the services is also all okay now you can see here that layer 3 anomaly so let's take one by one here you can see the logging feature which helps us out in generating the logs so you can enable this like this and if you want your single tab to be add into login part you can enable that as well we just perform all the login should be enabled and we perform the action as block because whatever tra traffic comes up we want to block it it's all up to you you can monitor this as well but I just recommend to block it now what is IP source session so the IP source session is basically if a number of concurrent IP connection from one single source IP address for example from example here there are attackers okay and if you receive a packet from single source from outside okay then what it will do is so here is a threshold we want to set for example we have currently set it as 5000 packets so if we for example if we receive 5000 packets from single source address we going to block it okay so this is IP source session now IP destination session so IP destination session is that if we receive a concurrent IP connection from one destination IP address so for example if there is an attacker who try to attack a single host in your topology so what you're going to do is that it will block it so the same thing this is from the single source and this is from the for the single destination okay this is our layer 3 anomalies now we go to layer 4 so you can see here TCP SYN flood so the TCP SYN flood is if any of the SYN packet including retransmission to one of the destination IP address for example if you have your old LAN or for example your web server is there inside your network and from outside anyone wants to send multiple SYN packets to any of your web server okay and if it is more than 2000 packet we are going to block it so we enable the login you can see TCP port scan scan is basically if you receive a number of TCP connection from one source IP address so for example if one of the attackers sitting outside attacking to any or many of your host inside your network so under TCP port scan it is going to block it okay so this is it now TCP source session so the TCP source session is if a number of concurrent TCP connection from one source IP address this is also the same because it's overwritten that it's TCP source session so the SYN packet coming from single source it is blocked so if it's more than 5000 packet it's reaching the threshold it will block it 
TCP destination if the TCP connection from single one destination okay so if the attack will going to happen from the single system inside your machine then it will block it UDP flood UDP flood is also the same if the UDP port numbers if we receive any attack from single source outside then we're going to block it port scan is just the same that if a TC if a UDP session from one source we're going to block it for example if the attack happened from single source then we block it UDP source session is UDP and the source from single source or to single destination we block it the ICMP is also the same that the ICMP flood which is to the single destination address it is blocked or ICMP sweep is from the single source and we block all of it okay now we enable the policy and we press ok now we going to make an attack from using nmap so what we going to do is that we go to a Kali Linux machine and we just logged it in as root the password here you can see that I have enabled using my Kali Linux machine now I will going to see what all ports that are open okay so for that the command is hping3 okay then first we're going to see that what all ports that are open so for that we use hyphen hyphen scan and we scan the ports 1 till 65535 all the ports then we type the IP address of our firewall which is 10.133 and we check the services so we use uppercase s hyphen s okay press enter okay so when you press enter you can able to see that these all ports that are enabled you can see port services flags which is sin and acknowledgement flag time to live value the id number your window size and the length of the packets now we are going to perform a sin attack on any of these ports okay so what we are going to do is we perform hping3 hyphen s capital which is the sin packet then we type the source IP address so from source is 10.141 which is our nmap IP address which is a is for the destination we type 192.168.10.133 okay which is our firewall IP address then the port so the port should be port 80 and we are flooding the packets sin packet okay press enter now we go to FortiGate firewall and we check that whether we can able to see the logs or not so for that go to logs and events go to security event and just refresh it here you select anomaly when you select anomalies you can able to see that which is TCP sin flood and TCP port scan okay so just go to your an map and just stop it so when you stop it you can see that 17,43,933 packets have been transmitted to the destination so when we go to this we can able to see when you click here when you go to details it gives you all the details so you can see the source from where the attack happened the source port port number is 1 from where the attack happened the destination port they used 2001 10.133 is the destination IP address the TCP protocol number 6 the services TCP then the port number which is destination port you can see the threat number the action the threat level which is critical alert notification so you, these all information you can receive from the TCP send flood now TCP port number so this is how we're going to identify that okay so now we're going to perform ICMP pin flood attack okay so for that the command is hping3 hyphen 1 so the 1 is for the ping we use 1 and then there is a command hyphen hyphen fast and the destination IP address 192.168.10.133 okay and press enter so what this command will do is that sorry I made a mistake okay so now what it is going to do is it will send 10 pings in one second so you can see the ping rates it's Control C, you can see 73 packets transmitted. So in one second, 
10 packets transfer so in 7 seconds 70 packets transfer okay the same command if you use and if you use faster then it will send 100 pings in one second so in 7 seconds 700 packets press enter you can able to see like how much packet we received so now go to the same FortiGate firewall just refresh it you can able to see here ICMP flood now go here press stop you can see 5,45,965 packet that has been transmitted in just very less number of time you can see just click here go to details you can see all the details in terms of your ICMP packets so this is how a FortiGet firewall helps us out in identifying the threats about the attack and this is how we can configure the IPv4 DOS policy okay thanks for watching guys